Hey there, and welcome to another episode of A Smoker's Guide to Hallmark. Today we're going to be watching a movie on Netflix called A Dog Walker's Christmas Tale. And it's about a spoiled 21-year-old Lucy Lockhart faces a tough decision when a handsome new friend asks her to protect a dog park from her wealthy employer. What is her employer doing at the dog park? Like, is it like a developing company? I bet it's like that. I bet it's a developing company. The main dude, I think, is um, Aaron from Mean Girls. I'm like 90% sure it's Aaron. She seems a little crazy. She maxed out her parents' credit card buying a present for her boyfriend of three months. So their meet cute was the dog running and her not being able to just, you know, let go of the leash inside the dog park. She has to hold on to it and run into this dude. I don't know their names yet. Um, Luce or whatever her name is, um, is now taking care of his dog. And now that owner's dog is shutting down the dog park. So it's really a roundabout way that she has an employer because she's just dog sitting. So that's weird. Dean is trying to convince Luce to convince Paxton to not bulldoze the dog park. I'm using this woman Lenore as an example, but in like a really shitty way. Like he said that only people who have substance have dogs. Like you have a dog, you have substance, and Luce does not like dogs. He's just really subtly putting her down all the time and making her feel bad in really weird ways like, no, I wouldn't care about that either if I was in Lisa's situation. Okay, I have some serious problems with this movie. Like, they wouldn't just know, like, find out a week out of the blue that their dog park was gonna get bulldozed. There would've been public hearing notices and then opportunities for them to object it. There would've been ample opportunity for them to know this information. If they were an informed voter, they would do that and they would have that information and then this wouldn't be a problem like this movie would not have been made plot hole done can i stop watching it now no i can't you're gonna make me keep going okay put in zoning laws also come into effect regarding this like you can't just convert mixed use to business so her brother went out last night who's younger than her like i think he's 16 17? I'm not too sure, but she's in college and he's younger than her. He went out last night and she went up to wake him up this morning and his bed wasn't slept in and she was like, whatevs? Like, wouldn't you be worried like where your brother was? So Dean like revealed all these personal stories about everybody else in the park as reasons why the park should stay open. And then when Luz asked him what's his reason for wanting the park to stay open, like, rationally, like, well, you told me everybody else is, what's yours? And he's like, it's none of your business. That's kind of rude because you just, like, laid out everyone's laundry to dry and you won't even lay out yours. Bro, I don't like this movie. This is a really bad movie. So this girl that's her roommate that's allegedly her best friend is currently out with um, Luce's ex and they're best friends yet they're acting like they're acquaintances and how awkward it is and it's weird. So like in the beginning of this movie we figured out it was a week until the closure of this dog park and now they're gonna put on a doggy festival. It's been like a day already maybe two. So they're gonna put on a festival before Christmas and get developers to change their mind about the spot of their dog park this movie makes no sense like they would have had ample time to do this and you can't throw a festival together and make thousands of doggy snacks in two days that seems insane this movie is just shitty he's on top of her now they're gonna kiss and oh my god totally predictable this movie's really bad hold up they put this dog festival together in one day he said that she's choosing to go to this party over them and he was referring to them as a couple even though they only went on one date yesterday. So yeah, I'd go to a party of the family friends that I know two houses down versus going to a dog festival. So now like this dude is going to go bulldoze this 
dog park because he's mad that people are on his property, but isn't it like up tomorrow? So aren't they allowed to be on the property for another day? So why does he care if they have a holiday festival? This is so bad. This is so bad. So apparently he's been allowing these people to yeah. stay on the property. So technically the land o is owned by him quite some time now. So then how long has he owned this property and why has he allowed a dog park on it? Why not just have bulldozed the dog park before Christmas or whatever? Like why, why does it have to all happen now all of a sudden? It doesn't make any sense. It's been like literally four days. Like everyone chill. So now the plan is to turn it into an official dog park with like a high-end cafe and a high-end coffee stand and basically make it a historical landmark that they don't have to pay property taxes on. So it's like they, they just kept the dog park but made it high-end so that they could get money off of it. So, I mean, I mean, I guess it's cool and all, but it's a really sloppy way to make this happen. So it turns out the wife was the CEO the entire time. And the husband is just the face of the operation, but she secretly runs everything. So when Luce was, you know, talking to the wife about it, I dig that. Points to that. Points to that sneaky woman empowerment. I like it. I like yeah. it. She, instead of buying the necklace, she bought him a ticket home so he could go home for Christmas. Because he couldn't afford to go home because he was in vet school. Guys, we need to discuss this a little bit. Let's discuss this. Okay, so towards the end, it got really cute and that turn with the woman empowerment was good and all of that was great. But that was just the last five minutes of the movie. Okay, this movie was an hour and a half long. First hour and 25 minutes was shit. So where do we stand on this first hour and 25 minutes? If we base it off the last five minutes, oh my gosh, so cute and adorable and perfect. And it was just like, yes, everything. But that's that. We gotta talk about this. Okay, so we're talking about this. We're talking about this. Fucking zero, nothing. Just nah, 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 zero. This little nah, this little, this little nugget over here, this little nugget right here, so cute. I would give it like a, I would watch that little nugget. Well, you have to know the entire movie, but I would watch, the, the storyline was better. If it was a better storyline and we still had this nugget, I could see this movie being like a seven if the storyline in front of it was better. But a zero and a seven is still zero. Do the math, not really because it depends on how you do the math, which way you want to do the math. You know, like zero times seven is zero, right? But if you're trying to find the mean of zero and seven, you'd add them, then divide by two. So that's a different, but it's gonna be a zero either way because how am I supposed to base it off the last five minutes? That doesn't seem fair to the rest of the movie. Still a zero. So don't watch it. It's on Netflix if you don't want to watch it. Or maybe you just want to, you know, see what it's all about, which I highly recommend. I recommend all these movies just to you see, because if I have to suffer, so do you. So go get stoked and go watch the movie and suffer with me, guys. Watch more episodes, subscribe, do all that shebang. I'm going to go watch more Christmas movies now.